Okay, let's go to target world again here. And I'll just target world up here and this one down here. And this one inside down as well. And screw it, let's do some target welding around here. It's tidied up a bit for me and requires less work, I guess. So, you know, I'm just manipulating the vertices to get the result I want. Um, hopefully without creating too much work for myself. Um, so I just actually have not to do, do these connects here at all. This target weld is going to work just fine. Alright, so I'm going to do some more connects. Just through the inside here. So this process can go back and forth. Probably should have cleaned this up before I made a copy anyway. So I might move this back. And once I've completed this operation here. So again across the bottom of the car I'm just going to connect. And I'm just going to do a quick slice. There. And I'm just going to cut connect this to here. And this is just basically the make sure I don't have any erroneous five, four, or more sided objects or faces. Is that one or two? That's good. Alright, so that should be pretty sweet. So actually, I'm just going to shift drag a copy back here. In the one instance is one more than copy. And that's going to be the basis of my new car here. So I can actually trash this part of the car. Like so, and I can just chuck a symmetry on that. Okay, and then collapse all. That's, and I'm just going to attach wheels again. Alright, sweet. And save. So pain in the ass, yes, definitely. Um, okay, so go back to this car. Let's do the same here. Apply symmetry. And come on, collapse all. Yes. All right. So back to where we were when we started, and that was to apply a turbo smooth. And let's see what happens. Ugh. Okay, what I'm going to do is apply it to a certain part of the body. So what we do here is we just select the sections we... Rah, rah. Come on. Let's go to my left view and select this part. Select these parts, these parts, these parts, and these parts, and these parts. Perspective, rotate the camera around to see if anything you don't want is selected. And just Alt. Deselect, like so. Okay, and I don't want the bottom of the car selected. All right, so I should better apply a turbo smooth to selection. So I last recall, if it's possible. <laughs> it totally sucks. But anyway, I don't even know why I'm bothering. Um, screw it. Let's go back and do a um, classic mesh smooth because we have a few more options here. There we go. Ooh. Let's do one iteration and let's just change our smoothness down a bit. It wasn't exactly what I expected, eh? And no, uh, just clap, clap, clap. Ah, uh, screw it, you know. It's not really working out how I want. Okay, screw it, let's just see what happens. Okay, something's funky's going on. 
All right. So this is like total free modeling at the moment. And what I'm going to do here is just selecting those edges along here. Is I'm going to do a chamfer from edges. Chamfer setting box here. And whoa. Some issues with my mesh here for sure. Just go OK, undo. And I believe I've heard a two vertices here. Which I need to weld. Go back to edge mode. Attempt it again. Okay. I think that's uh, a little bit better. And that should do. And go through the center of the car again. So you can repeat this process a few times with the symmetry. So you go top. And I missed this. Some of these polygons here. Just going to scale this flat. And should be good. Perspective. And symmetry again. Alright, so we're trying to get ourselves a fancy looking car, and it's proven to be painful. And I'm almost about to give up on the smoothing here, but we'll give it one more bash. Um, so front view, and fingers crossed it works for us. Right, screw that, undo. Okay. Perspective, go around just to confirm I've got everything I want selected. Alright, let's see what happens. So, turbo smooth, one more time for the win. And that'll do. Okay, so <laughs> after all that, this is what I end up with. Nice. So, Turbo smooth car for the win. Okay, so let's increase the poly count of these uh, instant sweeps up here by upping the steps. So I'm just going for a nice round look here. It should do fine. And our wheels, which hopefully I have still have uh, instance. I'm just going to go and um, grab a, a ring there and do a connect and uh, rotate and then I'm going to go back and go to face mode and select it again just a whole edge there then I'm going to go to polygons and do a bevel operation bevel settings and I'm going to change this to by local normal and I'm going to reduce some of the values here the funk. I'll change it to by polygon. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Kind of looks like a tire, roughly. Okay, that'll do. All right, and I think I will grab the in and outs of the tie, and I'm going to do a outline insert rather insert a bit uh, extrude uh, insert some more and extrude one more time, and I'm just going to scale. So, and selecting the whole section in the center there, scale a bit as well, like so, and that'll do. So, that's my tire done.